Welcome back, my beauties, and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena, and if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And let's go ahead and get into today's set. So for today's set, I'm going to do a dip powder set because I haven't did dip powder in a while on my channel. So I'm using the Savilon dip powder by the name of Dusty Pink. And I reviewed this 36-piece uh, dip powder set. Uh, system on my channel if you haven't seen that video i will go ahead and link that in the cards but this color in particular stood out to me a lot so i wanted to give that a try today so i got this really cute clear tray and this really cute plastic spoon from viola brown here on youtube nail cover lover um, I ordered a mat from her, like a customized mat for my videos that I'll show in a couple of videos. I think I used it once, but the lighting, the glare from the light was so bad that I have to figure out something because it's super cute. But she does sell those mats and when I show it again in a video, I'll make sure to give her a proper shout out. So you can go and check her out if you would like a custom mat if you do videos. So today I'm doing the typical, normal, traditional dip powder application. And I am using the dip liquids from that Savillon dip powder kit. So uh, step one is the base, which I applied to the nail tip. And now I'm taking that color dusty pink and I'm gonna just pour it over uh, my index while the base is wet. And I'm making sure to reach all of the sides with this. And um, I'm a bit shaky there because um, I didn't have much leverage. Um, I didn't want to like press on that plastic tray too much and have it like flip with the dip powder in it. But that's essentially what you do when you do using dip liquids of any kind. You go in with your base first over the nail and then you do go ahead and pour that dip powder over. I love dip powder. I feel like it's very beginner friendly. Um, and for me, in my experience of using dip powder, I've always had a pretty nice application and my nails came out very flawless with the minimal filing, which is also another great part. Only thing about dip powder is it can be a bit messy. Um, I've done dip powder on these length of nails I use a lot and longer nails as well that's the only downside for me is like how messy that it can be sometimes but i overall really really love dip powder and i highly recommend it it's essentially acrylic just a bit finer um and that's also another great part you get acrylic nails at home very easy very simple um so again i'm just doing the same thing so i did the dusty pink over the index ring and the pinky and i do two coats of it but i do one on camera and the rest off camera um but essentially i let that dry for a few moments i use a brush dust off the excess go in again with the the dip base the base um coat and pour over again to get the opacity that i would like with these and these dip powders are absolutely amazing. I do love um, how they perform. It wasn't like bulky or anything. Next, I'm going in with this Born Pretty like Mylar Flakes. Really, really pretty. It came with a set of six off Amazon and I will go ahead and link that down below. Um, but I absolutely love these. They're so, so beautiful. Um, I had my fan on so they were flying everywhere and I had to like take a moment to get them to turn the fan off so I can actually show them because as soon as I open it they just flew everywhere. And guys this is such a beautiful mylar glitter so gorgeous and this set of glitters comes with like six different shades absolutely gorgeous born pretty did their thing when they made these flakes i absolutely love them so now i'm using the dip base coat again and i'm going to apply that over my middle and my thumb and i'm going to use the um, applicator there and just go ahead and put them all over the nail how i see fit so i am trying to fill this nail up completely with these flakes because i just love how they went with the set these flakes especially in the sun give off a really beautiful shift so it's like pinks blues purples greens a little hint of yellow very 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 gorgeous and i absolutely loved how these two nails came out in particular so so perfect so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I fill this nail up, making sure they're nice and flat so when it comes to encapsulation, there's no problem or anything lifted off of the nail. 
And again, like I said, I repeat that over my thumb as well. And that's another thing I like about the dip base uh, coat that I've used so far with the two kits I've used is that you can use this also to like apply glitters, encapsulate um, things into your nails. And I absolutely love that. Um, it's self drying, which is perfect. That's another reason why I like dip powder as well is because you don't have to worry about going in and out of a lamp. Everything pretty much self dries if you use the dip liquids because I'm going to do my next video with dip powder but using base gel. Uh, of course we know we have to cure that but that's another great way to apply dip powder so stay tuned for that video as well. Um, once I got those My Life Flakes in how I want it, I'm now going in with step two which is the activator on the pink nails that are done and I go over them twice just to make sure that the nails harden before going in with any kind of filing shaping or buffing I hope everyone is having an amazing morning afternoon evening or night and at this time as always I would like to take my time to show my thanks and appreciation to any and everyone that's taken their time to watch my videos it's greatly appreciated and watching them to the end does actually help me out a lot to anyone that is new to the channel, welcome to the Nail Attic family and thank you so much for joining me on my nail journey. If there is any nail set you would like to see recreated or you any particular sets you would just like to see, please comment down below and let me know and I will get that going for you. To anyone that's been subscribed, I love you guys so so much. I appreciate all of your continued love and support. You guys don't know how much it means to me. It is just jo like it just makes me jo so joyful to know that there's so many people that really genuinely support me. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So as I was talking and giving out my thanks, I don't know if you saw, but I was using McCart's 2-in-1 clear uh, acrylic powder. And I used that as my powder for encapsulation. So I went over those glitters with the base coat again. And I poured over both the thumb and the uh, middle finger. And I did the second coat off camera. Um, now I'm going over those nails with activator after the second coat is on. Just to harden them before I go in to file shape and buff. So to file the nails, I'm going in with my Pana 8080 grit hand file and I'm just going right at the free edge to make sure that's nice and straight. And then I do go on along the side, the side walls and just go ahead and file that nice and straight and just remove any excess dip powder that may be there. Once you apply the activator, you do want to make, wait a few seconds just to make sure it does harden everything up. And depending how many layers of dip powder you use, you do want to make sure you're saturating that nail with the activator if you're using dip liquids. Just to make sure that once you go in and file shape and buff, you're not going to go ahead and like have anything gummy on the nail. Um, but again, if you're someone that doesn't like going in and out of the lamp, or you're someone that's not really good with acrylic. Um, this, like I said, is so beginner friendly. Oh, also guys, I forgot to mention the nail tips I'm using. I'm using Enel Couture's coffin nail tips. So he has just the plain coffin nail tips, which to me is equivalent to Kiara Sky's long coffin uh, jelly tips. And I absolutely love these. I got these a while back, um, but I do use them often because this is a very nice length that I like to wear as well. I love my XXLs, but I also love just a good coffin shape that's just medium length. To me, this is medium and not even really. To me, this is short, but, but it is medium length. So I decided to go with these to wear for the week. So I also did buff the nails and I'm not sure what happened to that clip but yeah you want to also go over and buff. I've seen people use e-files to file as well. I don't think that it's necessary. Some sets maybe because there are sets that might be a bit more like bumpy from the application and things like that that I've seen. But for the most part when I do dip powder I only use um, my hand file and my buffer. 
Now I'm going over the index and pinky with a layer of McCart's nail foil glue and this is the foil I'll be using. So I cured for 60 seconds and then when I got out of the light I waited an additional 30 seconds and now I'm just placing that on my nail per usual. I do make sure to smooth that down, make sure everything is nice and smooth. I'll then go in with my silicone tool just to rub that foil in a bit alternating between that silicone tool and my actual finger until I feel like it's ready to um, be removed. And with transfer foils, it, it, they're essentially very easy to use. Um, you'll know when it's ready because the transfer foil kind of separates itself from the foil once it's actually like transferred. And if you do pull it up and see anything is missing, it's so easy to fix. You just simply put the transfer foil back over your missing spot, rub in, and it comes right off. So transfer foils are also very, very beginner friendly and it's a great way to get some awesome nail art. I thought these foils were so pretty. They have a lot of different cutesy sayings in it and I just felt like they went really really well with that dusty pink color. And this foil comes from an older McCart set of foils, but I will also have this link down below. I just absolutely love this particular foil, and I've been wanting to use it on myself for some time, and I just felt like this was the perfect opportunity. So once I got the foil set, I'm now using this glitter top coat that I just got from my McCart Your Nail Lab in a box. And I was trying to think how I would use this glitter top coat. I mean, it's a lot of ways you can use it. You can never go wrong with glitter. But I decided to just add a layer over those foils just to give it a, a little extra something. And it absolutely turned out so perfect. I love how these nails came out with that extra glitter top coat. Once I get the top coat set, I do cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So for my thumb and middle finger, I decided to just use a top coat and top coat over those nails. And I'm using a McCart top coat. And I'm just going to top coat on top and underneath and cure for 30 seconds. I also top coated my ring finger as well because I'm going to go over that with a rhinestone placement. So off camera, I decided to go in with that glitter top coat over the ring finger as well. I just thought it would look better with the glitter top coat as opposed to just the, uh, you know, the clear top coat. And now I'm just going in with a random, very random rhinestone placement. I don't know. I just picked up pieces and put them onto the nail and it came out okay. I'm still working on my rhinestone placements and trying to figure out the best ways to place the rhinestones on the nails. But I think it gave it a nice effect. So I'm using these AB rhinestones here. Um... And then around these rhinestones that I placed, I'm going to use some pink rhinestones that I got from the long hair pretty nail store and just line it and I don't know, just make something really, really random. So I'm going to go ahead and let you watch that. But once I finish setting the rhinestones, I do a cure for 30 seconds.
and off camera i did apply some cuticle oil and this is how the nails are looking they are so cute i love the two mylar flake nails i love the foil nails with that glitter top coat the rhinestone placement was okay it went with the set it was all right your girl tried a little something but comment down below and let me know what you think of this nail set and if you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I'm going to also show an outside view because I think they looked a lot better in sunlight. The Mylar Flakes are not showing up how they really truly showed. Um, this camera is doing no justice. But I thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you in my next one. Remember to be the best you that you can be. And much love to you all.